Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Uh, we talk a lot about the environment, and I like looking for solutions because they're out there. There's a lot of very good solutions out there, like what they're doing in the UK. Man, there's a website, just positive news. World Bee Day, five projects making a difference to bees this year. From insect superhighways to urban bee conservation, there are things that are going right for pollinators this year on World Bee Day. So if you're following the environment at all, you're probably aware that that bees are, you know, because of all the pesticides globally, they've been going extinct. And if bees go extinct, we're done. We need, if we don't have plants pollinated, then it's kind of, we lose the food supply and some things go bad for the human race. So I've talked about it on this show you know, plant a little garden where you live. If you have a balcony, if you can do that thing or a backyard, you know, that helps to rejuvenate the bees. So they took this to the next level in the UK. A conservation project aims to address that by creating a network of wildflower super highways across the UK. Wait, what? I'm going to show you a map in a second. It's really cool. It's really cool what they're doing. They decided to build, well, I don't know, build this term, but to plant all these wildflowers along highways in the UK, which I'm sure makes it more beautiful because you're driving all, you never drive along and just all concrete. And then you see like, oh, there's a beautiful flowers or cool artwork along the side of a overpass or something like, wow, that's cool. They, they made that nice. So, but rather than roads, the red lines on the map I'm about to show you highlight proposed wildflower flower corridors that will join the dots between fragmented insect habitats. That's what's been happening due to overdevelopment in the UK and across the world. So the insects are staying more, they're more cut off, which means they're not spreading around pollinating, which is better for biodiversity. So look at all this. These are all the proposed wildflower super highways. Now, some of them aren't all along roads, um, but they're meadows. We'll go back to this map in a second. Native wildflower meadows are set to line the verges of all new large scale road projects in England. Infrastructure provider Highways England has committed to creating biodiverse grasslands as standard on all new major schemes in England. Under the scheme, Highways uh, co England contractors will now be obliged to create conditions for species rich grasslands to thrive using low fertility soils with chalk and limestone bases. Look at that. So they said, look, there's all these road projects they're going to be doing anyway. Why not add? which not only does that help the bees, it's probably better for air quality. It just looks better. It's better for all bio, all insects and all birds and all that stuff. So why this kind of stuff is important, and you might be saying, well, Graham, I don't live in the UK. But wherever they did something, you can point to it and say, look what they did. Like I talk a lot about the Housing First initiative that started in Finland. So it worked in Finland. Why can't we do it here? Colorado, California have passed recreational marijuana. Why can't we pass it here? Right? Evanston, Illinois, my hometown where Justin Jackson played college football at Northwestern passed reparations, not a perfect bill, but at least now we can say, Hey, Evanston passed reparations. So this is great. And it's some good news. This can be done all over the world. Every country in the world has roads. And if you're going to do all that construction, why not also put in all this biodiversity and wild? Why not? Makes everything better. Makes for a better society. Saves the bees. It's good for farmers. Right? It's good for the soil. It's good for the human race to survive. It's all good. So we're just bringing you a little more good news. 
Insect Super Highway, folks. Thanks for watching the show. Hope this makes you feel a little better. Do a little more investigating. We like hearing about positive stuff on the show. We, we cover a lot of dark subjects and you know, it's been a dark year. And so it's good to find some good news. Speaking of good news, I'm doing my first stand up comedy headline show in 15 months, May 30th, Sunday. That's Memorial Day weekend. So everybody's got Monday off. Uh, in the blue note in Waikiki on the beautiful Island of Oahu, Hawaii. So go to Gramelwood.com. It's one show. If you're in Oahu that weekend, or you have friends that are going to be there, uh, please, please, please come check it out. It's going to be a blast. And the County of Honolulu just extent expanded the seating from 120 to 170 seats because they're moving from tier three to tier four since the most of the over half the island has been vaccinated. So it's looking good. So come on out, enjoy the show, go to grandma.com. And of course, shave your knuckles for justice. Ba boom. Thanks for watching everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.